two days ago I sat here uh, for about four hours I think maybe even five hours trying to record a video just like this one and at the end of that five hours I had nothing throughout that time I would record stop delete record again stop delete I did that legit like over 10 times 15 times and just before that I took another probably close to an hour just pre pre preparing for this video doing my hair I put on a nice wig I was like I'm going to you know put on some good makeup so that took a while because I was beating down my face and yeah an hour later I felt like I looked proper I felt like I looked fit for camera and so I sat here and I, things were just not working out I was not I felt like I was not speaking right I felt like the lighting was not too good after a good four hours five hours I was just like I, I give up in fact before I gave up for good I actually moved where I was sitting here to another corner and I thought you know what this will probably give me a better angle you know if I sit like this maybe it will look a little bit you know pretty whatever and it didn't <laughs> why because I was trying so hard to appear perfect I was trying to sound like someone who I was not because I, I felt like you know you have to speak a certain way to project confidence to sound intelligent to articulate yourself in a way that will be received as intended and listen you can only pretend you can only try to mimic for so long eventually the real voice the real you will come out as I'm speaking now matter of fact I think it was a day a day before that time I was speaking to my sister-in-law uh, and she was telling me oh I love your videos you are you are doing so good you're sounding more confident you're really you're really getting there you know I was like oh thank you so much I appreciate that I was like yeah but mm, accent come <laughs> change like what but yeah mm, you you do sound a little bit different sometimes I was like really and it was it, it not to say it hurt me but I was disappointed in myself because the idea of me sitting down here talking to you is for me to just tell a story about where God has brought me where I am and where he's taking me simple and I want to speak to you the way I speak to my mom the way I speak to my sister the way I speak to God just be myself and so for her to tell me that my accent changes simply shows that I am consciously trying to sound a certain way to sound or to look a certain way and that is not the plan you know that is not my goal I honestly just want to be myself talk and point you to God finish and and so I after you know having had that fail of a big fail of me recording and deleting uh, and just wasting time I sat down and I was like okay I see I see why that did not work out I wasted time five hours at least five hours that I'll never regain because I I wasted it why because I wanted to be someone I wanted to look 
and sound like something. Even now, like I can, I can hear myself making mistakes as I'm speaking and going around in circles and I'm tempted to stop this recording, delete and start all over again, but I'm not going to do that because I know that's what the enemy wants me to do. He is trying to stall what I'm, I, I want to say trying to cancel the message that God is, has given me to say to you, but I'm not going to do that because I don't need to be perfect to, to speak to someone. Because if I, if I stop myself and if I wait till I'm perfect, God is going to speak through the rocks. And sure, I'm not, allow, I'm not going to allow a rock to speak before I can speak for God. I won't simply because I need to, because I don't feel like I'm good enough? No. Abraham was a liar. Gideon was insecure. He had a low self-esteem. David was an adulterer. He was a murderer. Moses stammered. In my books, he did not speak good English. He struggled to communicate. But Moses is in the Bible. So why, how dare he try to stop me because of whatever? No, 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 that's not happening. No. If I have to sound dumb, dull to you right now, that's fine. But I know, I know the Holy Spirit is going to prepare someone's heart and someone's mind and the message i'm trying to bring across whatever god is trying to speak through me will be received as intended and it will do its work all i need to do is appear and allow god to speak through me i don't need to be articulate i don't need to sound eloquent or to try to look like whoever no muduna you sit here and you will deliver with your broken english with your funny accent, that's fine. Because God has called me to do that. And that's just all I wanted to say. That's all I needed to say. Even that day when I sat down to record, I had a simple message, but I complicated it because I wanted to sound perfect, to look perfect. And some of you right now may be sitting there listening to this video and I'm like, ah, 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 cringing as I speak. That's fine. But oh, Holy Spirit, when you speak to that person, may they be encouraged by this video. May they be encouraged in the name of Jesus. And I remember that day, I went to bed feeling so defeated because I felt like I was, I was disappointed. I was really disappointed. And when that happens i will get into a place where i'm like i give up i'm not doing this anymore i give up and then i remember i i took my laptop to bed and i started watching a show that literally took over four maybe four hours or so i went to bed at like close to two in the morning just watching that show and I woke up late the next day. I woke up just in time for my one-on-one -on -one training because my alarm woke me up. But I was tired, I was so exhausted. I had no energy. And that day, it was, it was like that, a domino effect. Everything was just dragging and dragging and dragging. And I, I remember at the end of it all, I was like, that is the aim of the devil to stop what God has, to stop the work God has given you to do. And I said, oh Lord, forgive me, forgive me. Because I sat down and he took me to Isaiah 41 verse 10. I have it here, it reads, fear not for I am with you. Be not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you I will uphold you with my right hand. So my friend, whoever you are, whatever it is that you feel you are inadequate to do, remember God has called you just the way you are. He qualifies the cold 
he does not call the qualified. I think we've heard that so many times and that is true. So don't think that you need to be, to attain A, B, C, D before you can do what God has called you to do. Start where you are, start with what you have and let God do his work. You just be, just open your mouth, be that vessel that he has called you to be and speak whatever he places in your heart and allow him to transform whoever hears that. It's not for you to think, to, to um, convince anyone. It's not for you to save anyone. It's for you to do, to speak, be his vessel and be a witness. And I'm so thankful I did not stop this recording. I'm so grateful because I know someone is being encouraged right now. So thank you for listening. And I pray that we will continue to do what God has called us to do. He who has begun a good work in us will see to it that it is completed. Do not be discouraged. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and he will see you through till the end. I love you. Mm.